Hi everyone, Donna Spellhorn here, and uh, I'm the author of Chinese Astrology uh, 2015, Year of the Wood Sheep. And yesterday I uploaded what I thought was all the videos for uh, predictions and feng shui tips for sheep here, but I forgot sheep themselves. I can't believe I did that. So anyway, I want to talk to you about that. Now, uh, my series of books combines both uh, predictions and feng shui cures. I use the feng shui cure so that you can add more luck, love, and money. Now, this is the year of the sheep. It's sometimes called the year of the goat or year of the ram. In fact, my publisher and I went back and forth and back and forth about which one we should use, and we did decide on sheep, So, because when we took a poll, that was what most people were recognizing as as this year. I think Ram gets a little confused with Aries and goats, you know, goat, goat works. Some people said goats, so, but most people said sheep. So, so if you're born in the year of the sheep, you know, this is your year. Yay! So, <laughs> the problem is that when we're in a seed planting year, it's not always so simple. I mean, oftentimes what happens is that we've got to go out and, and put those seeds out in the world. So what does that mean? Well, I mean, think how easy it is to go out and plow, to, to uh, you know, get out there in the dirt and plant the seed, and then you gotta water it, you gotta weed it, you gotta tend it. Well, in the world, it, your experience is a little bit the same. This is the year where you're gonna go out and try new things. You're gonna go out and meet new people. Maybe you're looking for another job. Maybe you're looking for uh, a new place to live or even a new city to live. So all of the seeds need to be planted. That doesn't mean that everything happens this year. What it means is that you try it out. Maybe you go visit the city or maybe you get your resume done. Maybe you go join a singles organization. So in my book, of course, I give lots and lots of cures for different things like love and job and health. But I wanted to focus today on a cure I put in the book for sheep for money. And that is the chili peppers. So now you're probably thinking, wow, that's, that's an odd little uh, cure. But what I want is I want to spice up the energy. I want to really bring quick money to you. And you'll actually find that this is a more common cure than you might realize. That just the shape of the chili peppers often sewn into fabric cures or you can find ceramic ones. You can use real ones. You know, uh, I lived in New Mexico for a little while and, uh, uh, and when I left I missed the chili peppers and I had moved to Boston so I ordered a ristra. And I was so happy when it came. And this is a picture of a ristra. And so I brought it into the kitchen. I opened it up and the smell of chili peppers went everywhere. And so we were coughing and choking for about four hours. So if you get one of these, open it outside. Just my little tip. So, but anyway, this, you can hang the chili peppers outside. If you get one of the ones that are connected to a Chinese money cure, uh, I should say a feng shui money cure, then, uh, you know, it's, and it's made out of fabric or ceramic. Uh, of course, you can hang them inside. You can hang them near your entryway for money or in your home office. Or if you're hanging it outside, you do it outside your front door. And that's it. Uh, again, I hope you will look for my book. It's going to be available on Amazon on November 1st. And I hope you have a really great year.